what's poppin for those of you who are watching this on youtube deja is here so that we can have our little reality recap all right Mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. This is a special. Mm, there we go, a little filter for y'all. Hey, how y'all doing? We just waiting on Miss Kandren, girl. Hopefully, everyone's Monday was good. <laughs> girl, I'm in the room, girl. <laughs> but y'all, how about gag is? Sis forgot her damn drink. Mm. A terrible travesty. Oh, it's about to start storming. We're going to have to... We're going to have to make this quick because that means the Wi-Fi about to act uh, like cricket. <laughs> cricket mobile. <sighs> hey, girl. What? What is going on? I don't want to wave to you. Oh, there we go. I'm in a, a chill-ass vibe today, honey. Hey, girl! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, sis forgot her drink. That's what I was telling the YouTube folks, because, you know, we post this on the tube of you once we are um, all set up. So I did not forget my drink. I've been running around like a headless chicken trying to get my life together. I need to go get my drink. I mean, you know, ain't nobody in here yet. Nobody's here. Go ahead, grab it. Hey, Austin, we're getting ready to talk trash about reality TV. Yes. Go grab your drink. Grandma got to get her drink, Andy. <laughs> Hurry up, though, so we can get started. Go. Yes, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. It has been an interesting day, y'all. Oh, I'm children. Broke out the brown liquor, guys. Oh, shit. okay. <laughs> and she done put it on the rocks. Can you believe it? Yeah. Can you believe it, girl? I just, I'm just trying to make it through, Joe. How do I make these comments not be on your face? I hate this. I can't see you. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Well, what did you do with the comments? <laughs> All I did was just um, roll it down. So I can still see you, but like it was like these extra things across the top. Gotcha. Oh. Hey now. All right. Oh, wait. Let me make sure we're not in soft focus. Pause. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is good, straight. What are you, you drinking, what? Crown Vanilla? I might be converted to the Crown Vanilla. <laughs> this is I'm good. back with the 19 Crimes. I probably oh, should I be drinking. Today. Yeah, I should be drinking something stronger, but I just was like, "Give me the easiest thing I can have," and that's mm. what I, that's what I did. Well, wow, wow! So the reality TVs was kind of light this week. I know. I'm like, why was there no um, Huntsville crew? I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to see what was going to happen next with um, not the Holtz, the Scotts. 
<laughs> yeah, the Huntsville girls were, were out of commission this week, so this is going to be quick. It really is, because it's about to storm here. And that means okay, that cool. I was telling the people that the internet gets a little cricketish, like cricket wireless. Very so, good. yes. And also, I'm going to be taking my braids out. I'm very glad about that. I'm excited. I left Shut them in long enough for this occasion. And then Girl. they're going to be out. <laughs> I've got to take mine out, but you know what? I was like, it's okay. I'm going to just wait till September, which will be here in like two days, okay? My goal was to make it till uh, Memorial Day weekend. I mean, not Memorial Day, Labor Day weekend, so that I'll have a nice long weekend to treat my scalp and do all the things. So here we are. As you should. Hey, now. Hey, Shari. Pop your hands for the room. Oh, all right. hey, Shay Shay. It's my homegirl. Hey, Okay, okay, so this little recap, as Cam was saying a few minutes ago, is going to be short because some of the reality TV was non-existent. So throw us some names of things that you've been watching that we might need to get into also. Yes, definitely. So let's just want to get... start with first. I mean, we can just start with put a ring on it because it was very dry. Was on it, the recap? Huh? Or not the recap. Was it the, you know, like, hey, boo? Was it, um they're like you know no the reunion is next week they, okay this week was the finale was so the they worst. had they the two couples were engaged or whatever but the reunion is next week and we'll have to okay. recap that because that's going to be good yeah so i'm trying to make sure i catch that so i totally thought that it was going to be one couple that gets actually engaged and sees it all the way through to the end i'm thoroughly surprised that uh jessica and ti jason made it yeah um, I wasn't thinking they were going to make it, and I'm still not convinced they're going to make it through the reunion. Uh, but we'll see. Girl, we'll see. that's, like, like, let's keep it all the way 100. Like, them putting the ring on it on the TV show is all fall to all, right? What, it's, what really matters is, like, this after period, like, once filming has stopped and they all now out living in the world, mm -hmm. whether or not they still going to be together. Because we Hollywood and Ashley from the first season. Absolutely. Hey, Joy. Hey, Joy. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens with their little crew. Um, but, yeah, all the girls are going to be back next week. Alexia's going to be back. Hey, Marae. Uh, hey, with Marae, girl. Uh, Brother Darian. Darian. Oh, it's Darian. We was calling and, him everything but what his name was. And then the girl he, like, cheated on Alexia with is going to be there. And thought that, like, they were together. From the previews, it looks like he, she thought they were together. And he does not believe that to be the case. And I'm like, well, he cheated on his girlfriend with you. You. Like, girl. Like, what the fuck you thought this was? And then for her to sit there and be saying to, um, like, the, the trailer that we got, saying to Alexia that she doesn't feel like she did anything wrong. I mean, to her defense, like, these couples were going on dates with other people to see whether or not this was going to be, you know, like something to continue in terms of their relationship. Mm -hmm. And if the streets was really what was talking, basically. And so, yeah, it kind of makes sense that, oh, that's her name, Kai. It kind of makes sense that she would feel some sort of entitlement to, you know, doing things freely. Yes. Joy said, based on her IG, they were together and she recently keep his car. So, <laughs> hey, Martavis. So, hey, my Davis boo, shut the fuck up. Are you for real, Joy? I miss that. I might need to get on the socials. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, it's what he part. deserves and much more. I've never seen yes. this, Joy. Shari, you do need boo. to watch it. It's mess. It is mess. And mess all the boots. seasons are on the OWN app. So, if you have, um, like, regular cable with OWN, then you should be able to get it and just watch it all. Just binge it. It's not that many episodes. It's really nice. It's like, I think it's 10 episodes total. You can do it in like a couple, like a weekend. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to see it. what happened. But also, Ooh. you know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> either way, still not a good situation. But, um, you know, IG really doesn't mean anything because men and women be in different relationships in their mind. So. She might have thought she was in a relationship, however. I mean, but, like, women do that, right? Like, we have all, we have an episode where we're talking about <clears throat> dodo bird status, right? And so she just was having a dodo bird moment. Like, mm -hmm. 
Because why would you think that because you you slept with him and y'all had some sort of connection that now you're going to be a committed relationship? And, and not to say that that's only a female trait because, like, I absolutely have had someone who, of you know, of the male persuasion that was a little delusional too. So, like, <laughs> like no, that's not how this works. At all. <laughs> so, anyways, we can move on from that. What do you? What else do you have? All I have is a uh, Housewives of Potomac. Thing. Okay. Housewives cool. of Potomac, and we can talk about the trailer for um, Utah. What? I got a few words for uh, Dereach trifling ass. Oh yeah. Well, let's get on the oh yes, I did watch that. Proud of me. I finally watched Beverly Hills. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's. let's I ain't never wanted Beverly to snatch Hill nobody first. through my TV that bad. At, well, that's not true because I also, in the same week, because I'm like behind on New York, watched the Ramona with the Black Shabbat. Oh, I missed that, and I was like, What the fuck happened? I missed that. Oh, okay, y'all was doing the most, that. most. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> what happened? Basically, she went in there and was just like, you know, Ebony's friend is a Jewish woman. So she was hosting the Shabbat dinner and Ebony had invited some black friends so they could all, you know, partake. And Ebony started off like, I'm troubled, you know, because I don't think that the black community and the Jewish community are as together as we should be. So we're hosting this dinner to like have a conversation, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, we Joy! have... Joy, we have a we have a YouTube video coming up on why the house a case for segregating the housewives. So stay tuned. We will that will be up hopefully this week, next week at the latest. Yeah, but yes, no, I want them week. segregated. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and so Ramona's there and she's like, Jewish people don't like me either. They they didn't like me either when I moved to New York. They and I was just like, oh my god, no, 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 no. no. And then, like, Sonia is you, like, Christina losing girl, you gotta it. Catch that pool. We're going we gonna to have a sit down, Chris. <laughs> oh, my God. Sonia is losing it because she's like, Ramona, you can't act like that. And then Ramona's like, well, I'm hungry. So she, like, marches herself into the kitchen and gets herself something to eat out of some other woman's ki somebody's kitchen. A house you don't oh, live I did in. see this because she was like, do y'all have anything to eat around here? I'm hungry. And she was standing there, like, picking at something. I did see a clip of that. But I, it was, like, in the background wow. playing. And then... Ramona is trifling. Ebony's She's about 75 friend years who, old acting like that. Seriously. Ebony's friend, who is, like, currently visibly very pregnant, is, like, she just had a pregnancy. She is trash. She just had... Um, she just had a baby, I guess, last year. And it was an early baby. And so, like, very preemie, I think she said 29 weeks, maybe, and she almost died, and the, the kid almost died because the doctors were not listening to her. And she had fibroids, and they wouldn't give her enough pain medication to mitigate the fibro fi fibroids. So it basically induced her labor because she was in so much pain. Oh, my God. And so she was like, hey, this is another issue that Black women have, you know, whatever. And Ramona's like, I have that issue, too. I had an early baby. They didn't believe me. And it was just like... Mm -hmm. Bitch, this is not your experience. You can Correct. go to the doctor and talk about how much pain you're in because of your motherfucking pinky toe, and they will prescribe you medication to help you feel better. I Us, mean, on the other hand, they want to send us the fucking pain management. They, When I say that she <laughs> committed like every white Amazing. woman faux pas known <laughs> to man, and the ones she might have kind of skirted past and missed, Dorit's ass caught on Beverly Hills okay she was very much like okay everybody says Dorit talks too much Kyle has said it Erica has said it and when I tell you she came at Garcelle like she was ready to fight she did she did and I was and like Garcelle really was just like you can have it sis I'm not I'm not mad at it but I wish that Garcelle had a gift like put Dorit on a fucking platter like he yeah. you know she like she paid her dust bringing out the f-bombs <laughs> definitely Probably she paid her right. dust <laughs> and i wish she had have given her more like i, I, I know really the high road but like i wanted to see her really give it to dorit like she deserves it she does because like girl you tried it and then to like the way that she spoke to her when griselle griselle uh <laughs> putting uh the two names together when garcelle was 
you know, trying to exit the scene, basically. She was just like, like, don't talk to somebody that, who's grown as a child. Like, don't do that. That's disrespectful. And like, that's, that, um, and backtracking, that also gives me like, um, the conversation that we had where we're speaking about, you know, watching the housewives for entertainment and not to be traumatized. And like, absolutely, that was traumatizing to me. I'll be completely transparent with that in the sense that like, I have been in those situations where the persuasion is speaking to you left. And if you gave that same energy back, oh my God, why are you attacking her? Because nobody oh, would see it for you. It was full on. It was full on. Like, basically, Garcelle, you're the problem. You have had issues with every person at this table. <laughs> and I was just like, Gr girl, Garcelle has been chilling for the most part. She could have really gotten your ass and got in a lot of y'all's asses. And should to have. Be honest. So, Giselle, I mean, uh, Giselle, Joy, <laughs> Joy said I she's glad. <laughs> She's glad that Garcelle took the high road and had on amazing sunglasses and looked lovely and stylish doing it. So, yes. But I, oof, when I tell you I was tweeting through it because I was upset. I was I upset. Like, Dorit really tried it. She tried Like, first, it. in the last episode, you was talking about how all the people of color that your children are aware of is the goddamn help. And now this episode, you are being the epitome of a Karen. Mm. Oof. Because Karen like, don't always have to be like, you know, out in your face and doing the most aggressive behavior. Karen very much appears just how Doree did. Correct. <laughs> like the the Karens can be in looks too. They don't always have to be, you know, run down with sneakers, you know, rolled over to the side. That is not always a Karen. <laughs> Doree just proved that. <laughs> Doree just proved that to the girls because she went full on Karen in a full on look. Yes, yes. Calling her um, a bully. Oh, trying can't. to get you to shut up sometimes. Like, That's Doreen why, irritated me before, mad. but mm -hmm. I cannot handle her now. Like, I cannot abide her. Child, I was reading Joy's comment. Sorry. But yeah. Mm -mm. A yeah, mess. That's why Doreen was I mad. Uh, had, had nothing to do with other stuff. It was because of the help. Comp Correct. Correct. I'm like, girl, you just mad somebody is embarrassing you, making you feel away, basically. So you want to label her as a bully. Yeah, basically. Which is disrespectful. Wow. Because now, like, that's, that's that, you're trying to put the angry black woman trope on this woman. Mm-hmm. Yep, who was talking exactly. to you just as calmly and interrupting the stories that you tell them because she was right. That was not the bullshit that you was talking the day before. Was you not. You was kind of just like, um... The, the Georgia girl. But, What's her name? Sutton. But, yes. You were sounding just like her. And then since we're right there, Miss Erica Jane tried it, trying to come for Sutton's neck. And then there was a there was an unreleased scene that was circulating on Twitter. I don't watch the never before seen show because I'm like, I already watched this mess. Like whatever I need to see additional will be on the internet. And it was. Mm -hmm. Um that basically Sutton had offered Erica a loan. Oh, yeah, I did watch that. Because uh, it came when they showed the episodes, you know, they play the old episodes prior to, they showed the unseen footage. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, it was a conversation where Sutton had offered Erica a loan. Erica never took it, but never said, I mean, she just never said anything, basically, Sutton was saying. And mm -hmm. so she just kind of left it alone. But like, I, the perspective from Sutton was like, hindsight in 2020, I'm glad that she didn't. Mm-hmm. So, and she tried, she tried the hell out of Sutton because it was like, girl, you probably need to pipe down because you pipe about to be in a slammer, down. Erica. <laughs> like, all right, Miss uh, Judice. Yeah, you have Hard a lot. Yeah, speaking of which, you know, the girls better stop lying. Erica needs to start coming clean because they gonna lock her ass up just like they did Teresa because they locked Teresa up because she was lying. Mm -hmm. And what she I said wasn't like matching the show. Erica just needs to be like, y'all asking me questions about things that I can't discuss because this is a, a live legal case and battle that I'm dealing with. So, like, I know you want to be in my business, but no. You can read yeah. about it in the papers like everybody else. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So, she could have done better with that. Oh, this is random. Other housewife universe. Kelly Dodd was fired off of OC. <laughs> Praise God. 
I'm trying to tell you, Kelly died, mate. She the type of woman that made me want to put hands and feet on her. Man, apparently <laughs> she got, you know, she got married to the Fox News guy. So I guess they were spewing like conspiracy theories. I know last year, like the last season of OC, um, was like the beginning of the pandemic and she was very much like I don't really care it doesn't matter it doesn't affect me blah 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 blah. so I'm assuming that they continued on that vein and the whole you know not recognizing Black Lives Matter that came up at the reunion like it was just a lot from Kelly so I'm glad she's going to be gone and I'm glad the OGs are coming back I don't know who all of the OGs are coming back but the doll is coming back Heather Dubrow it's my favorite (laughs) I like them period they're funny to me so anyways let's are you are we done with this are we ready to get down to the meat of matters y'all did we cover everything from beverly housewives beverly housewives beverly hills housewives did we get it all anything we leave off y'all anything y'all want to <laughs> talk about heather yes heather the yeah, she's coming back she did a, um she was on portia and giselle's after show mm-hmm. the name of it and she was talking about her coming back so and basically how all the viewers were sick of that other cast because I'm getting ready to tell you I was about to remove them from my DVR. Ooh, ooh. I mean I, was I don't know awesome. who is on the cast now, but I know that damn Kelly died, hands and feet. Heather and her house. Yeah, I wanna see what she's I was gonna say that. I wanna see what she's done to that house in the Which was like her kitchen was like seventy thousand over budget. The the kitchen. Not the whole house, just the kitchen. But it's like, they got the coin. He got a whole TV that. show. I love that for you. And he's a plastic surgery at freaking Beverly Hills. like That and skincare line, all the things. Like, they he's rolling in the coin. He got it, okay? Many, many, many coins. Okay. <laughs> so, anything else? I'm definitely watching. <laughs> exactly. Yes. All right. Little yeah. OC, whenever they come back. Oh, sidebar news. I think Listen. that um, Housewives Universe, I think that Greg Leakes passed, or he's in the, the transition of passing. I saw that yesterday. And I was like, damn, like, I'm, I feel bad. I thought he was doing well. I guess, like, with all the COVID scares or whatever, like, not to say I have no idea as to what happened to him, but, like, yeah. I'm, I'm maybe speculating with all that stuff going on maybe he just didn't do well so he's in his final stage this is what joy said yeah that's I the video emerged yesterday of nini at the club telling somebody she wasn't gonna wish him a happy birthday because her husband was home dying but <laughs> did you see that a strange fruit no i saw he the was video like, i didn't listen to it she yeah, was like i'm here because that don't make no sense <laughs> right. like at all Okay. She said, like, I don't really want to be here. I'm here because of business, but I did. I y'all call me rude, but this is why I'm being rude tonight. But it's like, okay. I'm not going to judge. You've been at home and been still the person that they presume to be rude. Like, you don't have, you don't owe anybody no explanations, baby. That's your husband. Yeah. She was obligated to be there. Oh. That's why I I don't judge her necessarily for being there. I don't know what the contract was. I don't know if it was her place or somebody else's place or how rapid this has declined, like his health has declined or whatever. I don't really know. So I'm going to reserve judgment. Plus, you just never know what people need to be able to cope with what's going on, on at home. So I'm not going to, like, make any judgments on her. But... um I mean, that, the, the grieving, or not grieving, but the, the transitional process aside, like, I know a couple of weeks ago, I was listening to another show, and they were talking about how um, there was a meme that got had gotten retweeted of uh, Nene saying something funny. It was like the, um, from the season two, where they were running in the heels for some sort of charity or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so someone had retweeted, like, a gif of that, and, like, the gif had went viral, and then Nene came back and was just kind of like, I don't make any money off of these gifts, so no, I'm not happy to see it. And it's like, girl, people just appreciate you for you. We don't need yeah. to know the ins and outs of the money that you missed or are getting or any of that. That's your personal business. She need to get on those, what is it, the NTFs or whatever those things are called, like the digital tokens. <laughs> because Nene really is like in a meme every week. 
Legit. It really is. And it's like, it sucks that now all this stuff is constantly spinning about you and you're not getting paid. I understand the gripe, but at the same time, yeah. it's like the people that are reposting these memes are fans of you. Because you, you, were, yeah. you were on TV and funny and gave a lot of people joy. Yeah. So Joy said his cancer came back last year, which I didn't know. Yeah. Um, and then she said, yeah, being a caregiver is a lot. So she may have just needed to get out, but then got, you know, fed up over the foolishness of being in the public eye and people asking her questions and trying to be all in her face. It's like, please get out of my face. This is going on. I'm like, where the hell is the publicist, the PR team, the somebody to help curtail this so she don't say things that like his, the stuff that she's been saying is like kitchen table. <laughs> yeah. Like, Girl. Martina says he misses Nini from the back in Housewives of Atlanta too. from back in the she day. Was my Same cast member, which is why I really was like, oh, I'm sold with uh, the Housewives of ATL. Like, yes, I will always watch them. Yeah. She Girl, got a, she was a little. <laughs> <laughs> she had gotten a little bit much for me, but she was a good time. Free Trump checks. You right. You right. <laughs> okay. Missing teeth. <laughs> Joey said a girl a team with what money? Okay. I well, know, whatever. that's why I was chuckling. <laughs> I mean, because if we're being honest, like, you know, somebody would have been able to afford to blow blow off that uh gig for for their husband. I mean, so. evidently she got money coming in, honey. She didn't bought that lavish house that they live in. And I'm almost well, certain that, that the the house that she has and I think the homes at that are off of the Nini uh, train. I'm like, is that new monies? Is that new money or old monies? New money in the sense of over the, the time since the beginning of the Housewives. There's been different okay. things that she has, you know, like worked on and accumulated and or created. Because you know she oh, got no, a couple no. of stores. And I'm I know she about... has one up in the DMV. Right, Joy? Yeah, I'm talking about her post, post uh, Housewives the... moment. Oh, yeah. I don't. I mean, well, she got the restaurant, and that like, was actually featured on Put a Ring on It. Right. Yeah, when um, T.I., Jason, and the, 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 um, the, I think she was Panamanian. What was her name? I, I don't know. Either way. Um, when they went on their little salsa days, they were at the Lanethia. Yeah. Listen, I'm not saying she doesn't have any money, I'm not saying she's flat broke. I'm, not, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, maybe the money isn't coming in as, as rapidly as it did when she was on Housewives. So she took her out Housewives oh. earnings, as Joyce said, and opened up the lounge for a reason. For sure, because you got to have fast money. I'm not mad. Yeah, I'm not either. So anyways. Yeah, make sure you pay that, them rents for them boutiques she got. Yeah. So anyways. We've gone off into the uh, use, uh, <laughs> universe. Yeah. So uh, prayers to them as you know, Greg transitions and she grieves and all of that stuff. Gotta say that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't wish no ill on her. I just I miss the Nini of yesteryear, but at the same token, I understand where she is, having been a caregiver for probably like the last five or six years. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. so. It is. All right, well, let's go to Potomac. That's what we're here for. Uh, where do you want to where do you want to start? Cause I got a, a thought right up at the top of my head. But go ahead. That goddamn Robin. Like you really just trying to make sure that you are giving us entertainment. You are creating bullshit ass content at this Correct. point. Because that even though we're kind of starting at the end of the show, that whole scene of Robin calling Juan on the FaceTime, I was Juan. Like, girl, get off my line with this foolishness. I don't want to have Any this conversation with you. What are you talking about? It literally <laughs> proved absolutely nothing because of his lack of interest in that conversation was just like... That was like a confirmation for what the hell uh, Wendy said. That's what I was Quiet saying. as a cap. Like, girl, what is I was like? just like... <sighs> and then for Giselle to be across the table like, yeah, you did that. Did what? She did nothing. She did but make nothing. a mockery of herself and her relationship. <laughs> Joyce said Juan doesn't <laughs> like her. He doesn't. I don't know why they're still going back and forth. Maybe he just needs to pack his things and move. I, I don't I don't know. Pack his little duffel bag. <laughs> and the words of Matthew. I'm like, 
like, girl, I don't, I just, I don't see it for Robin this season. Like, Robin is normally dry, and now it's like, okay, everybody thinks that I'm dry and I'm not worth being on the show, so let me create a whole bunch of drama. Or let me, you know, as always, be at Giselle's beck and call and at her feet. There was a point where Giselle was like, Robin calls her on her shit, and I'm like, when? One time last season, maybe? And we were all like, oh! Robin does yeah. have a voice. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got opinions of your own? Like, this whole... I understand being so irritated about what Wendy had said. Mm -hmm. Because you believe that you all had a, a genuine relationship. But it's like, people say stupid stuff in the midst of having an argument. And you kept interjecting yourself in a conversation and situation that you didn't have shit to do with, sis. If you had to just yeah. sat there and shut the... Let me stop saying the F-bombs. But if you had to just sat there... <laughs> And ate your out. food. <laughs> should have just sat there and ate your food. Okay. Bitch, Robin. No, you could have kept Robin. on drinking all the whiskey and the mojitos and whatever else because Robin was drunk drunk. Like, I mean, you didn't have to say drunk. anything, sis. <laughs> and then, like, her little meltdown at the tennis court, I was like, girl, A, nobody cares about coming to your wedding or your bridal shower. B, it's not going to happen. Like, <laughs> like Wendy said Man, it. Ma'am, you'll be lucky if you get to the Justice of the Peace. You'll be very lucky if you, if he wakes up one day and it's like, let's just go to the Justice of the Peace and get this over with because you're not getting a wedding, dear. Because <laughs> my thing God is like, if, you. For, all, for all that happened in 2020 and now 2021, I've just been like, you know what, sweetheart, we, we can have the whole shebang doodle at some point, but we've already actually done that. Why don't we just go to the damn uh, courthouse and be done? Not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, what else? Oh, another thought I had about Robin. I took some notes. Um, I will say this. It kind of sucks that Robin put herself out there. Like, she jumped in Giselle's mess. Because it really... Loud and wrong. It, it was Ashley and Giselle that was having the conversation. The initial <laughs> conversation about Wendy. It wasn't even... Robin wasn't even included in that initial conversation. Giselle come and lump her in at the resort. Yeah, it's tell like, her about it. It's like and you, you have to be in there. It's like the thing that is so fascinating to me in all sincerity is that people, like all these people become Giselle's mouthpiece. So she will come to you and tell you whatever it is that she has feelings about. And mm -hmm. then you all converse about it. And then you go and say what, she, what was said and then become the person that's going to catch the brunt of the battle. While Giselle just sitting back like this, like she was on the couch. Exactly night, how Devin. she was on the couch. <laughs> hey, Devin, I'm sure you don't want to hear this. We are talking reality recap. But hi, thank you for coming in. Um, <laughs> so that was Crazy. that. Let me tell you about Zen Win, though. <laughs> Let me tell you about Zen Win. This is why I didn't buy that whole thing last week and how she cleared her and got her together and all of that stuff how she got just all together because wendy is so bothered if you were if you were really meant all that you said and really meant all of the foolishness you watch it too <laughs> yes time in, time in. <laughs> um but yeah like if you meant that shit with your heart with your heart of hearts she would have been unbothered he said, don't let the testosterone fool you. I know that's right, boo. I was just, you know, I was thinking higher of you, Devin, that you would be <laughs> somewhere doing, you know, important shit when Housewives was on. But come on in the room. Come on in the room. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, like, she was so bothered. Like, went home, cried, just like they said. They, just like they said she was, she was over there crying on Karen's shoulder. Then she came back for another round and reiterated the same nonsense. Uh, <laughs> fair. Um, reiterated the, the, the same, happy wife, the happy same life. nonsense. Yeah. She just sat there and reiterated the same nonsense about like, oh, you don't have a man, you don't have a man, you don't have a man. It's just like, girl, you are so bothered and so pressed. If you really didn't care, and then the whole like, Ignoring Giselle, but like turning her head so she was looking at her braids. I was just like, you are so bothered. <laughs> you are bothered. Now you look ridiculous. 
all over yeah. again. I think she could have just been like, Giselle, I don't see it for you, and we don't even have no conversations past the point of what was said the other day. That's what I wanted her to do. But, I mean, you know, what? everybody has their time, right? And in her time, she'll be able to do that. Ooh, the storm is coming. Okay. And that's what <laughs> Marae said. Wendy is really not about it. She let Giselle get all the way under her skin, and she did. And, and, and Giselle slept peacefully after starting mess, as usual. As and she that's always exactly do. What happened? That's exactly <laughs> what happened. She always do. Giselle sit back, just like you know. I did like the most infamous sitting back and letting things just happen was being read down to the ground by the book from Monique, and Giselle was just sitting there like, yeah, that's his number. I was like, I mean, yeah. So, okay. And <laughs> that's one thing about Giselle. She can sit in her mess. And I respect that. Because it's like, if you're going to start a bunch of mess, you got to be able to sit in a read. And she was right when she said that Wendy can't, she's thin-skinned. She can't be running off every time somebody, you know, there's conflict or whatever. You want to run away and all of this stuff. Like, it's too much. But I mean, I don't even know that um, I feel like Wendy was running away. Like, she just didn't say flat out, like, it ends here. I don't have nothing to say to you. So all this trying to, you know, when you're ready, it's not never going to be when I'm ready because I'm not interested. And that's what I would have preferred her to say. Instead exactly. of just sitting there like a two-year-old, like, I'm not speaking to you. I'm not speaking to you. Just like... <sighs> My girl, grow you, up. It's like you undermined your whole read because you're Absolutely. so bothered. Mm hmm Marae said Giselle knows what to do to keep her check. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Joy said that Giselle can just dish it and take it. I feel like that's the big flex is to be able to sit there unbothered while some shit is going on and people are talking shit about you. There you go. Like, whatever. But I mean, but I at the same time, you know, I'm always on, like, the Zodiac trip, right? Wendy is very much a Gemini. And they got to say a whole lot, come at you real aggressively. You know, they're all in your face yada 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 <laughs> but then on the inside they are like spinning around what was said and then you know behind closed doors they might have a little bit of a breakdown it's true we saw it and we I know a lot it. of them and I folk that do just that if we about to have a tornado what is going on <laughs> well we can close up because I will just say this why did Mia go get that shit started with a whole bunch of shit Giselle did not say she told us, a, she called you a weak-ass bitch. I was like... That is high school. That is like, we trying to get this she, fight started because I want to sit and watch with the cops on. I was like, she she did, but she didn't say it like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> but she probably did, but she didn't really say it like that. No, she ain't say it with her chest like that. It just looking real crazy outside. So, <laughs> Mia is messy. I, Very I'm much not so. Crazy. But it was funny because then she was like, well, I had interpreted it as... It's like, and everybody looked at her like, ma'am, like, we what? got enough mess. We don't we need enough this. Mess. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you adding razzle-dazzle on the mess. Okay. We got enough. Literally, that's what Giselle said. I'm messing enough on my own. She said it at the table. I'm like, I'm glad you own it, sis. I she was like, I don't need you to add <laughs> words to, my, uh, to what I said. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> it was funny, though. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I did enjoy Mia's messiness. Yeah. I, I'm still the verdict is still out on Mia for me. So I mean Mia is the Marae said this needs to be Ashley's last season and it absolutely does. She brings nothing to the party. Absolutely nothing. And this is not even about her like having kids and stuff. It's like she's just annoying. That is a loud, loud bit of thunder. Uh, yeah, and it was lightning. So, we might be ending this sooner than we thought. <laughs> no, that's fine. I think we covered all the bases on Potomac. Any, anything else y'all want to add before we go? Y'all heard the, the thunder over at Dangerous. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> the, the rain is sideways. She, she did, did, but she, I mean, <laughs> She did, but she really didn't because the mess was already started with Giselle when she read when she was going around the table last season. I mean, last season, a couple weeks ago. Like, mm -hmm. Ashley really just came in and poured salt on the wound. It wasn't, the wound was already open. Because Ashley's trying to make sure she keep her check. Yes. Yes. 
And I don't even right. think she really meant it like that. So I don't know that that counts. <laughs> so anyway, she was born this season. She was born last season though. So like, she was. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But apparently, uh, in the the you know extended trailer, it's gonna be some beef between her and um, Miss Can- Candiace yet again. Mm-hmm. So well, because they they're never gonna be friends because they're the same person. They're both vile and and go for the jugular even when it don't call for all that. So they're the same person. So they're always gonna be at each other's throats. I'm pretty content with that. Yeah, she did. <laughs> You absolutely mm-hmm. right about that, but you know now she's she's famous. She still want to be on TV. Yeah, Marae says she secured the bag with the kids, and now she can go. And Joy says, <laughs> "I always say new parents and newly divorced shouldn't be on," and I agree. So that's how. Hold on, pause. So you feel that way about um, Miss Quad from the the uh, the doctors in Atlanta? What is that show called? Married to Medicine. <laughs> Married to Medicine. Well, I mean, Quad was technically not a cast member, even though she was up on there a lot. At the end of the season, she technically wasn't. I mean, but she was originally a part of the the cast, and then she got divorced on the show. Yeah, but after she got divorced, she (laughs) was no longer on the cast. (laughs) So I was like, yup, gotta go, sis. I don't know. Quad quad annoys me, but she is entertaining enough that I give her a pass. And that Married to Medicine cast is so dry sometimes, aside from Simone. Aside from Simone. I love Simone. I think she's a writer. Simone is a therapist. I love her. For the most part, that cast is kind of dry and heavenly. Heavenly can, but heavenly Heavenly goes too far. Heavenly goes too far. And you'll be on Heavenly's side, and then Heavenly will say something. You'll be like, now why did you have to say that part? Shut up. You didn't have to say that part. I mean, but it'd be funny, though. Like, when she was talking to Lisa Nicole, and she was like, is that your stomach, (laughs) Al? Gal, is that your stomach? So, she's just entertaining. Know. She like um Dr. Heavenly is reality TV gold also. For the fact she that she just, is. Gonna say, she just gonna say it. She don't care. Nothing she's about funny it. on YouTube too. Except Absolutely. she has some she has some problematic uh gender role sort of views. Problematic to me. So oh, once no, you get past that, much. she's a good time. <laughs> I agree Especially when she was doing um, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Her Love and Marriage Huntsville recaps have been very funny. <laughs> we might have to recap her recap, okay? <laughs> well, Jackie is kind of the track. glue, but she's not really the glue, so I don't know. Yo, sidebar, I was watching um, Tasha K on the YouTube, okay. and she was talking to Buffy, and Buffy care. gave us some backstory as to the beef between her and Jackie. Okay. So, allegedly, uh, Buffy was trying to put Jackie on to some company that was looking for a doctor to, you know, represent their company or whatever. Mm-hmm. And Jackie got to the interview and was like that she didn't know um, Buffy. And they came back to Buffy. The, the company came back to Buffy and was like, yeah, Jackie said she don't know you. So because of, <laughs> because of that, Buffy has had a chip on her shoulder about Jackie, in addition to the thing that was said on the show, which um, Buffy was like, it wasn't true, what, whatever it was that Jackie had said. And I was just like, okay, whatever. But it was funny to reach out. And the, the shade that Miss Buffy had gave us was that um, Jackie was her mama's age. Jackie is, is up there. I did not know. I had to Google it. I was like, oh, damn. Okay, Jackie's I'm probably in her 60s, no? Or early she 60s? She is. Yeah. Really is. Like, she's in her mid-60s. She's up there. Like, she's up there, up there. She really is, uh, Joy. Joy said, Jack, I mean, Buffy is on a rampage to ruin Jackie. I'm like, Well, Girl. here's the thing. Like, she can be on a rampage all she wants, but, like, she's Jackie, still a doctor. Like, she's still got all this money. Like, she's going to be fine. Like, you know. <laughs> and people love Jackie. It always cracks me up when they do the rundown of the gowns on um, Married to Medicine. Mm-hmm. And it's like, Jackie's gown will be, like, pre-day, top-tier, high-end collection, and the rest of the girls will be, like, some local designer from a boutique. Hello. 
But listen, Jackie is a Leo, so I get it. <laughs> Baby, Jackie be Jackie be ready. Bougie. Yes. And I'd love to see it. Love to see it. <laughs> So, <laughs> Buffy, needs Buffy to does go. need to but go about luckily, her. Buffy is very much about her business. Has several um, companies down in the A and doing quite well for herself. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say that she wasn't. I'm just saying Not she needs to stay out of Jackie way. My bad, Kane. I was reading what uh, Marie oh, said. Right. <laughs> I, I don't think that they are, are never going to be friends because oh, Marie asked if. Jackie and Simone are still friends or still not friends. And I don't think they ever are going to be friends because Simone is not going to move on. <laughs> That's one thing about Simone. She holds a grudge, baby. She is going to hold on for dear life. <laughs> Listen, she is holding on, singing that song. <laughs> she, Girl, she's not. Yes. Yeah, now Jackie has that skincare line. Exactly. Yeah, she has a skincare line, Marie. All right, how you miss it? It's on every commercial break on Bravo. Like, some, I think Bravo got a stake in that because they play that commercial so often in the show. They probably do. On. They probably do. Hey, so. somebody who just came in. Hey, girl. Yeah. Uh, we jumped all over the place per usual. All right, somebody. Anything just else y'all want to talk about in the comments? I mean, it's reality recap. We talking about all the same stuff, all on the Bravo Network, Bravo Sphere. Yeah, I'm guessing it's part of the. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing it's part of her contract. Yeah, she developed it on the show too, so it's probably they probably get a cut of that. Mm -hmm, just like Candy, Jackie. Listen, Jackie and Candy is milking all of uh, the Bravo Network for whatever they can get, and I am not mad. Candy is probably top tier of for all sure. of the of all of the like people who have spun out different stuff, Candy is top tier. Absolutely. <laughs> One more F bomb for the end of the show. <laughs> all right. Well, well is now. that all everybody? Are we good? Are we done for right, nobody's chiming in. All right. Yes. And Candy stay with the good. coin burst and that's who it is. All right. <laughs> Listen, okay. I, I need her dad on ingenuity. Let's get on Candy's radar to God's ears. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, friends. <laughs> we will see you all next week at 6 30. Next week, 6 30 ish. We were on time today. And okay. <laughs> we. I mean, we were mostly on time. I was a <laughs> running a little bit late because I'm preparing for a vacation at work. So I got to do all this stuff first. So I work late. But yes. Oh, she talked about LL Cool J taught her a lot about money. That's interesting. I need to go find I mean, that that's interview. Mm -hmm. so that's all I Hell, LL was out okay. here doing it. Him and Dagon, um, Queen Latifah. Ain't, no, ain't nobody the like queen. them. Because she also no. has, like, Flavor Unit, which is another, like, entity of hers that has a lot of things that come out of it between... Yeah, Queen Latifah had a talk TV. show. So it's had yeah. everything. She had all the things. Like, Queen Latifah is the GOAT, literally. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hmm. Okay, thank you for the, the, the tea, uh, Marae. Appreciate you. Marae said um, the interview happened when she first got into... Or she was talking about when she first got into business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the queen for, sure. for the coin as well absolutely I love me some queen Latifah but anyway we've been saying bye for the last couple of minutes peace out y'all <laughs> bye bye talk next week <laughs>